This is my beautiful zinnia. This is the one that I put in the pot that I told you was in the garden bed and had a broken head. Well, the head's not broken anymore. Look how pretty those are. They're get, coming on nicely. The petunias are gorgeous. The oregano's gone a little crazy. And my lettuce, as I told you, bolted. But I'm leaving these to go to seeds and the radishes too so that I have some seed for next year. I've got beets coming up. And here is my travesty. I harvested all of this kale. There was a ton of it for um, our community dinners at church. And I forgot to put my floating row cover back on. And I came out and right here in this spot, a muskrat or gopher type of animal was sitting here having his own little breakfast buffet <laughs> the other day. So today, this definitely goes back on. Then I wanted to show you a baby kids coming. So this will start producing soon. I don't see any baby beans, although I see... A ton of blossoms going. See that? If I can see it, I guess you can. Which I know the hummingbirds like, but this trellis just isn't tall enough, I don't think. So I'm hopeful to get some beans off of this. And my marigolds have become just gorgeous, as you see. So I'm going to go over here and harvest in the big bed because I want to show you what I've got. I'm so excited. So give me a second to get there, guys. You know, it takes me a minute. This is Hope from Cedaholic Gardens. I don't know if I said that or not. If I didn't, I'm sorry. I do have some kale in this bed. For some reason, it didn't bother. But you know, I'm ready. Um, I know you can't really see them in there, so I'm going to show you a second video later where I harvest those. But I am going to get over here in this corner and show you that I've got pumpkins on Penelope's little white pumpkin. Thank you for those seeds, Penelope. I'm so happy, P. Ah. So let's see if I can get here and show you this one. I've got about three on this plant, but I've got two plants. Ah. So let me see if I can dig through all the leaves. There's one there. And there's a couple more. A little bit bigger. I just can't get to them. And you see something's been eaten. My um, cabbage over here. This is a Verona cabbage. So I'm sure it's that gopher. So I'll get some more row cover because I have another one. And cover this too. And I just wanted to show you the absolutely massive amounts of growth. You see, I have two of those oh, squash plants. I'll show you the harvest fall later. Isn't that gorgeous? And I'm probably going to cut those in half and stuff them or grill them. I'm not sure which yet, but I'm, and I've got some beets to harvest as well. And a few turnips. And I just wanted to share with you what's happening. My sunflowers aren't putting on flowers back here, but they're getting pretty tall. And I also have a few in this container of um, sun sugar cherry tomatoes. I find when they're in the ground, they um, bear more, I'll tell you the truth. But they're such a good tomato, I had to grow them anyways. And this plant in here is a little stressful. See, that one's off there. I'm going to take this one off before it's, it's starting to wither too. So I'm going to get those off of there and use the good part of the one if I can. And I just wanted to share that. Camera guy is working on some stuff. I've got some stuff over there that's too dry. i got to get some water in there and see if I can result, re revive it. I still have things in my winter sewing containers because I just have no space. <laughs> but um, i got to get those garlic scapes. If you can see those over there, out of there. It's just height of summer. Everything's going so fast, growing so fast. We just can't keep up between work and, you know, taking time out for one another, our family, and um, trying to stay organized. He's starting to get things more organized than I am. He got these pots, mm, which we transplant to in, into in the spring, um, organized for me because we reuse ours because they're, they weren't super expensive, but they're nice sturdy pots, pots that we can reuse, so we do. So these are the boards he's going to make another bed. And when you see boards like that in my yard, that means I'm getting another bed. This time, I believe it's going to be at the church, but I'm not sure. We were gifted some corners. We are gifted the whole beds, but the boards were warped. So we're going to move those out of their way. If we can repurpose them, we will because they're plastic. So we don't want them in the landfill, but sometimes you just can't save everything. So we will use the corners with wood 
and create more beds probably right up at the church or something not sure which and he does his heavy work here with his tools here where they're safe like i told you then we move on to other places and i'm just going to show you my day lilies as my final shot because they are just beautiful they only last a day and these flowers are edible too you can saute them with egg and onion and make a day lily omelet and they're delicious if you did not know that so I have um, a little bit of cilantro seed there that I'll, um, I'm sorry, oregano seed out there that I'll be getting out. So I have more of that golden oregano next year. And I'll be back later with a harvest video so you can see what I did actually harvest. So as always, I want to say to you, happy gardening and blessings of bounty to you and yours. Until next time, from Cedaholic Gardens all those gorgeous squash flowers. Bye-bye. Well, I'm, I'm trying to turn this off, you guys. I'm having a hard time with the one hand.